I'm almost back. You can probably still hear deep in my throat a little bit of gunk. I bought a suit yeah, oh. for that uh, wedding. Yeah. Off the rack in the children's section? or Turns out all my other ones were too big. I bought them when I was fat. I looked like I was wearing Craig's clothes. But now I, I want to see you in Craig's suit. I just go back to the last somewhere. show we did where I wore a suit. It was preposterous. Juice Robinson, old rock hard. Got uh, beat here, which brought me much joy after that Observer Live bullshit. You know, I just don't have the urge to wrestle, really, anymore. They had to do this twice. Yep. Because old, old uh, Max Caster nice. came out. And just like I did right there, he went blank. Hmm. And, uh, and he stopped. And he said, let's do it again. And he went to the back. And then he came out and he pulled it off the second time. Which was why, I think it was Jericho. One of the yep. announcers goes, nailed yep. it. Renee interviews the Golden Globe winning actor. Paul Walter Hauser. Won a Golden Globe. Like Golden Palace. It's not a dick, Craig. They look like a phallus. I'm just saying. I need to see a doctor. The scariest thing I've seen maybe in my entire life. How in the fuck do you powerbomb somebody off the ramp through a table? Yep. And you sit on the table and they land on the fucking ground. How mad will Vince be if Jacksonville wins the Super Bowl and Vince has to send Tony Khan a customized WWE title? If I were Vince, I would not send him the title because I would be waiting for him to throw the title in the trash. Oh, still ill. He's still sick, everyone. AEW Dynamite, January 18th, 2022, which was, of course, in memory of Jay Briscoe. Yeah. This was the first AEW match since the passing of Jamin Pugh. And uh, I thought they leaned even harder into the comedy than usual. They wanted to put smiles on faces. What is that noise? Is there a dog out there? I what do, is that? I do hear it. You're going to investigate? What is that noise? I thought it was obvious what was going to happen here, because this makes the most sense. Top Flight beats two of the trio's champions. The Young Bucks aren't tag tag champions, so you could beat them and, and give somebody the rub. They get a partner. Then they face the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega in a six-man. I've got two words for you. And most of the crowd says suck it. A few say scissor me. The music starts to play. And Billy Gunn says, family therapy. I will withhold judgment until I see it. But <laughs> man, let us see how it plays this, out. This did sound like a raw segment. They have Scorpio Sky. He can be a doctor again. This hey man is truly a fascinating character. He's like the. He is an anxious millennial, millennial cow cowboy. I think my favorite graphic in the history of all elite wrestling is Jake Hager with his hat and yeah. Chris Jericho. They had a technical grappling war i thought i was watching blood sport for a while it was beautiful i i mentioned it like last week was the week where all over the internet on our board on twitter like people all of a sudden they decided don't like this mjf character he said i listen to the fans and so he has shifted this character i think it's going to be for the better you know the other thing with mjf this guy should wrestle more we have never had a champion who didn't wrestle <laughs> Yeah. And he actually had a, uh, I forget what his tweet was, but it was something like, you know, I, I had eight grueling matches this year. <laughs> <laughs> and he rants in Japanese for a little bit. And Rene asks, what does that mean? And Takeshita realizes he's speaking Japanese to an American audience and chuckles and says, it means MJF is an asshole. <laughs> and I always love when they do the gimmick where somebody speaks a foreign language and they, they say something that goes on for like 45 seconds. And then you ask for the translation. It's yes. like, he's an asshole. Yes. I love Kushida and, and Darby Allen, but, you know, it's a match. And there were better matches on the show. Yeah, sure. it, like we've never seen Kushida in this company ever before. I don't think anybody thinks that Kushida is going to win. It was the first few minutes of this match where I was watching this going, this is the best shit I've seen on NXT in I don't even know how long. It's your favorite streamer, Stevie Turner. She's a content producer who reviews the matches on NXT. You know, I'm I'm she, pretty She's I'm a, our competition. So she's challenging both of the tag team champions to a match. Mm -hmm. I'm betting that Isla Donna's your partner. How's gonna go? I will quit <laughs> watching the show. The virgin is in the dressing room. Icing is broken ass. 
and in storms Fallon Henley. What the hell is she doing out there, she says. And the virgin looks in the eyes and calmly but firmly says, she has a name. (laughs) Awesome. This was great. I don't know if I've ever seen a wrestler do a primal scream of rage during a lockup. And she goes, ah, and seizes her. Hidden cam footage of new cuts or whatever. And Booker says, you know, back in my day, we called that a Stasiac. God. And let me tell you something. Whoever this NXT Anonymous is, somebody's going to Stasiac their ass real soon. I love Booker. Vic and Booker broke into the show and acknowledged the passing of Jay Briscoe, Mm -hmm. a guy who had never wrestled for WWE. He'd never wrestled for NXT. He died, and they acknowledged him, and they they impromptu, like with no notice, completely axed a funeral segment off the show. Yeah. So I I can't, you know, praise them enough for that. Yeah. It's, 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 you know, it's the right fucking thing to do. And I've been watching this place for a long time, And there's a lot of times where there was a right fucking thing to do, and they didn't do it. Lyra Valkyria, whatever. Valkyria? Lyra Valkyria. Lyra? I think it's Valkyria. Valkyria. It came out of my mouth, Valkyria. What comes out, you got Lyra, so your your mouth wants to go Lyra Valkyra. That's what you want to say, because that's what it seems like it should be. But it's Lyra Valkyria, I think. Anyway. Whatever. 